so as you know, today is the election day in Dublin Bay South for the by election. Um, there's 15 candidates from independents varying to the big parties to your know, other parties. Um, so we'll just say to people, you know, particularly in Dublin Bay South, you know, to think about it, think about it tonight who you're going to vote for. Um, you know, do think about it. Um, because this is your future of your constituency and you know you want to elect someone that's really going to represent your constituency in the best possible way. Um, again, I just say to you, you know, to take into consideration tonight. So, voting opens at 9 o'clock. Um, you, you can bring your own pen. Really, they're trying to push, bring your own pen this year and bring your own pen. So. Um, but there will be pens there, just the same. Obviously, we've won for a long, long time, the voting. So, the first election, would you believe, in a long, long time in this country since last year actually um so your face masks and things like that it'd be it'd be changed as the first time ever it'd be something like that but yeah i just want to draw your attention to this poll um you know from the john latter e um and basically just you would know, a good lot of people i think nearly could be five thousand six thousand seven thousand people voted in this um and then, yeah i just wanted to kind of just bring you up to it because again it's kind of interesting because at the moment, you know, you and looking at it and looking at everything happening, um, and seeing who's the most popular candidate, who's most likely. Again, we can only assume at this point who's the most likely. Going by uh, polls, going by different things, but polls mean nothing because at the end of the day, they said Donald Trump could never be president, um, and that went well for them, didn't it? Um, Naughty had a fear there when that happened, um, but yeah, uh, Lena Boyle and the Sinn Fein won top the poll here with five thousand votes. Um, but this is only one tap again some people out of constituency might be falling for just a general thing um, it just kind of goes with the trend in Dublin based out that there would be Sinn Féin Labour Fianna Gael the, tr- the top three um, so you know, you know again I, again to be totally honest with people I do think they would fall Fianna Gael I, do, I honestly do think this constituency will because it is kind of I will kind of just say it is at the, it's not the most like it's not the Dublin inner city or anything like that it's not Dublin inner city, um a poor crime area, and Dublin based south is kind of a rich, rich enough area you know it's not it doesn't have a huge like obviously housing is important in that area too the same as every part of the country, but it's not like um the inner city um crime drugs you know things like that, um so obviously Sinn Fein Labour and we have Fine Gael, but I think that Fine Gael man will win and I might be totally honest with you. Um, because I do take that it's a Fianna Gael and Fianna Fáil stronghold, and I do take it's either going to be one of them parties. The big parties are really just, you know, they had all the top notches because again they just flooded the place with posters and leaflets and everything like that. Um, the same as OT. OT was the big mouthpiece for them. Um, but again, it's the big parties that you know, again they have an unfair advantage if you ask me. Um, it's not really too fair, especially when they didn't fight. Uh, into they didn't even fight into his count and uh, candidate to even go to the like, live debate or even the independence they didn't give them a fair chance but yeah the next person is just about the national party 2000 votes but this is you know again some people could be voting from outside the constituency um, and obviously we are talking and uh, into next and um, the green party claire bourne i'm um, just on top of claire bourne um, the Green Party candidate. You know, again, so going by some of the polls and going by again, I looked it up online, but it is generally what it, this poll is really saying. What it is the general consensus for what I'm seeing from people who are in Dublin based out, who live in Dublin based out, who are um, you registered in Dublin based out, that you know it is Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil, Labour, or Sinn Fein. Basically, that's your pick. That's really. They're the parties. It's not the Green Party hasn't really got much of a hope, but um, it's generally it's, it's either going to be Fianna Gael. It's going to boil down to this Fianna Gael or Fianna Fáil, and let's totally be honest. With you. Um, or Labour. It could boil, boil down, but I can't say Sinn Féin won in the way. What I be honest with you, and uh, even though the polls are going, to, a good lot of people are saying for Dublin Bay South who live in the constituency, um, again top material again looking at it here, there's a good I see people coming the about living in the Dublin Bay South. Um, it's, I don't know why it's a good lot of few people for profit too when I'm looking at it um, it's unfortunate the majority in this poll for example the majority independents are very low um, which is upsetting like John uh, Kintner, um, he's a good he's, like I do have huge respect for him 
Uh, he asked, he asked Fina Gale a good lot of questions. Only in this poll, he got 45% of the 40, 45 votes. Um, you know, oh no, that, sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Um, Peter, uh, Peter Duncan, sorry. I'm getting mixed up. <laughs> see, when I, so many, there's a good few independents and it's good to see. Um, and obviously it's 132 votes. Um, on this, on this, um, on this poll. Again, this means nothing. It's just kind of giving you a general consent of what's going to happen. But, um, yeah, it's just, you know, it will be interesting. It will be interesting, even though it won't have a huge, um, effect on, it won't have a huge effect on everything like Doll and it won't change Doll and like, like, take for example, um, um, if A two gets the candidate in, for example, it'd be two A two candidates now with all out, which would probably be it'd be another voice in opposition, obviously, um, and obviously one less seat for the government, um, but it won't really change much because the government still have the numbers. They still have the numbers between the four, Fianna Gael and the Greens, um, they still have the numbers and they can still pass whatever word they want because they have the numbers and they won't, um, it won't. On ba- it was the balance is still there of power to the government. Um but yeah, I just say to people again to consider do consider. Um again this I I, I say out all the names, <laughs> Leila Boylan, Eva Leila Black Le Blackie, um James Skinner, uh, just about uh, Maria Tobin, Claire Bourne, Sarah Dawkin, Deidre Conway, Bridget Pregnant, Dolores Cahill, uh, Martin Bennett, James Campbell Peter D- Dooley, Callum O'Keefe, John K- Kentner. So 15 candidates again. I will just say to people, you know, tonight you'll maybe do a bit of reading and see who is your candidate that you prefer to vote for. Um, so yeah, the best of luck to all the candidates and you know, the best of luck. Um, I do wish them all the best. Um, and he, all them, um, a lot of the team put in a huge effort. Um, and I think it should be acknowledged. acknowledged. But anyway, take it for watching. Um, I will cover it tomorrow just to let you know too. We'll cover it throughout the day. Um, and obviously there's only one seat, so it should be not too long. The counting or whatever should be pretty much end of the day. Could be that more next morning after we could get the results. But anyway, take care, everybody, and bye.